Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I will take on the challenge of drawing with a cheap and common scholarly pencil. So I went to the nearest store and asked for a cheap pencil. The man very gently offered me two different ones and he said Take the blue one, because for only a few cents more, it is of a better quality. And I say, thank you very much, I'll take the yellow one. <laughs> he say, no, no, take the blue one, it writes more evenly and better. And I say, okay, take me the, give me the yellow one. <laughs> he say, no, 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 don't take the yellow one. It, I have tried it, it breaks all the time doesn't write evenly, it is awful, really cheap, take the blue one. <laughs> After a big discussion, I won and I walked out to the store with the cheapest and more awful pencil there was. Let's see what we can do with it. The first thing we will do is to sharpen the pencil like an artist. Not with a sharpener, but with a knife to expose a longer lead. Do this very carefully, always with movements away from you. If you want to learn how to sharpen it properly, watch my video How to sharpen a pencil like a boss. We sand it and clean it. And here it is, ready for battle. <laughs> we will draw a realistic eye looking through a hole in a piece of paper. So first, with a few lines, we define where the hole will be. Something simple, like so. Maybe this doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but it's just a hole in the paper. It will make sense later. Now let's draw the eye. This is the upper lid. And by the way, if you liked the video, please subscribe to Fine Art Tips and click on the bell so you receive notifications of new video uploads. We draw the iris, which is the area of color of the eye, of course, and toward the middle, the pupil. So far, so good with the pencil. <laughs> I'll make the paper a little bit tighter, like so. And it will have some flaps, like this, that have been cut out and they are lifted. I erase the sketch marks that ended up outside refine the line, the outline, and now I will really press, really push it to get the dark of the pupil, which I'm surprised it handled it very well. I thought it would be more difficult to get this dark. We do some texture of the iris, like this, with some lines and some tone, and now let's begin shading the skin. The upper part will be dark, because it catches the shadow projected by the paper itself on the surface. We clean up a little bit and then give a tone to the area that is normally thought to be white, but that should have some shading. A reflection of the lashes and then the eyelashes themselves. I'm trying to keep the lead pretty pointed by sharpening it often with the sandpaper. This area on the right will be a little bit darker because I'm considering the light source to be toward the top left. You know, this pencil turned out to be softer than what I expected. So as I said, one of the challenges has been to keep the point sharp. The fact that it is soft is great to produce the darks, the blacks, However, I wished it was harder to easily draw the lighter tones and in general to have a cleaner look. I think this has been the biggest challenge. Okay, this eye is looking at you. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Now let's work on the paper a bit. We give it a very light tone, and that's where I wish we had a harder one. I do a cross hatching, and I'm not even going to attempt to smudge it. I will leave it like that, a little bit rough. 
We defined the paper a little bit better and give it an additional shading. We are close to finishing, but I think I should define things better and also give a little bit more volume to it. So that is why I increase some of the shading. I also darken the area of the iris pretty much around the pupil, especially the higher part, and also the outer edge of the iris, which is usually darker than the rest. I like it when you give me good challenges, and it's ready. Please let me know what do you think, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and I will see you on Tuesday.